Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making these little mushroom guys. But before we get um, too far in, I just want to explain a couple of things. So I've actually made three different versions and I'm going to let you choose which one you want to make as we're going through the tutorial. I'm going to be making this one today with the taller pointier top. And then as I'm doing this one, I will explain how you get this shorter kind of rounder top for the um, other three that I made. And then when we get to the, um, the little mushroom brim here, I'll, show, I'll just explain to you how you'll get the little ruffly top for these little ones, like the purple one and the pink one. And I have tested this pattern out in the smaller size using the number four yarn. If you follow along this exact same pattern, this is what it'll end up looking like. I'll be using a number six Bernat blanket yarn, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and 20 millimeter safety eyes. For the little one, I'm, I used a number four yarn, um, eight millimeter eyes, and a 4.25 millimeter hook. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. But if you get lost or I do something you don't understand, there will be a 30 second drop down with the pattern instructions at the beginning of every row that you can follow along. And if you enjoy this video or any of my others, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And of course, comments, thumbs ups, and giving it a share are always appreciated. Um, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. We're going to begin with the mushroom cap. So grab whatever color you are using and you can begin any way you want um, as long as your row one is the same amount of stitches. So the way I start is I fold my yarn in half. I wrap it around my finger so I'm making a knot with the loop on the end. You can chain two, you can slip knot, you can use your magic ring, however you're um, used to. If you're starting my way, you're going to grab your yarn, pull it through, and chain one. And that's just attaching your yarn to your loop so you can start your first row. Now if you're doing the larger top, we're going to put eight single crochets into this loop. And if you're doing the smaller top, you're going to put 12 single crochets into this loop and skip row two. So I'll be doing eight single crochets. You do whichever one um, is up here on the top that you're following. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm just going to pull my tail. Be careful not to snap it. It's a very fine line when you're using the plush yarn and I'm just going to grab a stitch marker and for row two for the large one you're going to do one single crochet one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 12 
If you're doing the small one, you're skipping this row because you already have 12 and you'll join us back on the next row. So one single crochet and one increase for two and three stitches. And just repeat that around. So four and an increase, five and six, seven and an increase, eight and nine, ten and an increase. 11 and 12. Row three, we're gonna do that same pattern. One single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 and we're all doing row three. So one single crochet and an increase two and three and then repeat that all the way around four increase five and six seven increase eight and nine ten and an increase 11 and 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. Row four, if you're doing the large cap, we're just gonna do 18 single crochets all the way around. And if you're doing the smaller one, um, you're gonna skip this row and then all our rows will be ex the same now, um, except for the brim row, if you're changing that. So for the large one, 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Row five, we're gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one single crochet, another single crochet for two, and then our increase, three and four. And repeat that sequence all the way around. Five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. Nine, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12, whoops, 12. <laughs> 13, 14, and an increase, 15 and 16. 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 
and an increase, 23 and 24. Rows six and seven are gonna be 24 single crochets all the way around. And that's two rows of 25, so I'm gonna count that consecutively. Two times 24 is 48, and then I'm just gonna flip my marker when I hit my first set of 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, whoopsie, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I've hit the end of my first round of two, so I'm going to flip my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Row eight, we're gonna be going in the front loops. So if you've never gone in the front loops before, so normally you will go down through both sides of that V and out. When you're going in the front loop, you're going to come down and up. Whoops, I can't do it in the camera. Down and up through the center of that V. So you're leaving a line of stitches in the back for the next row. Okay, and this is where we're going to choose what kind of brim we want. So if we're going to do a more flat brim like this, we're going to do 24 um, increases of two for a total of 48 stitches. And if you're going to be doing the little fluffy brim, you're going to be doing 24 increases of three for a total of 72. So you'll either be doing two single crochets in every stitch or three single crochets in every stitch. Now I'm gonna be doing two. So I'm just gonna count them out in the front loops. One, two, next stitch, three, four, next stitch, five, six, next stitch, seven, eight, and make sure you're staying in that front loop. Next, oops, stitch, nine, ten, next stitch, eleven, 
12, next stitch, 13, 14, next stitch, 15, and 16, next stitch, 17, and 18, next, 19 and 20, next, 21 and 22, next one, 23 and 24, next one, 25 and 26, we're about halfway if you're doing my way. 27 and 28. 29 and 30. 31 and 32. 33 and 34. 35 and 36, 37 and 38, 39 and 40, 41 and 42, 43 and 44, 45 and 46, 47 and 48. And so if we're doing the the straight brim we're done now and you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and we'll tie that off the rest of you continue your three single crochets in each stitch around along remember i believe it's 72 and when you tie your um piece off leave a fairly long string we're gonna weave it in here and if um, you're not sure what you want to do with it yet, just for now, temporarily, I bring it up through the middle and then just make a little loop so you can hang them if you want. And you can always cut that off later. Or if you know what you're doing, um, you don't have to leave that. And cut your yarn and pull that out. And we're not going to do anything with it just yet. We'll wait till we have a couple rows of the body done and then we'll we'll work on putting that piece in all right now we are going to start with our stem color and we're just going to make a knot with a loop on the end like we we're going to chain we are going to be attaching our yarn now um, to the back loops of our cap So make sure you're still going in the same direction. And you want to find your first back loop of the last row before you did the brim. And it should be right beside your stitch marker. And you're going to bring that loop under that stitch and just do a chain. Now that is just to attach your yarn, not going to be counted as a stitch. And for row nine, we're going to be doing 24 single crochets in the back loops. Fold your um, brim down. It will help you see the stitches. It's going to, it might be a little bit tricky if you're using the plush yarn. Just take your time and make sure you get all 24 stitches. So one. Find that next back loop. Two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and get in that last one. 24. Um, try and make sure you have 24. If you're off by one stitch, just do an increase or a decrease. Um, but if you're off by more than one, it's probably worth taking this off and restarting um, to get in, getting your 24 stitches. So now when we go to join, remember you have your um, I guess your chain one where you attached and then your single crochet. So you want to go in between those two for your first stitch. So I'm just going to get that in there. So for row 10, we're just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. Oops, my stitch marker. All right, 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now you need to for sure have 24 in this row because we're going to be doing the arms next. And if you want them to be in the right spot, you need to have your 24 stitches. Okay, for the arm row, we are just going to start with six single crochets. So one, two, three, whoops, four, five, and six. Now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I apologize in advance for what I'm about to do, but we're going to do a, what I call a double crochet cluster in the second chain from the hook. So this is your loop right here. Does not count as a stitch. Your first chain 
and then your second chain. And we'll be going in this second chain. So we're going to yarn over, go down into that second chain, grab your yarn, pull up and through, and then we're going to grab our yarn again and go through the first two loops on our hook and leave that last one. So that's once. We're going to do that two more times. So for our second one, yarn over into that second chain, grab your yarn and pull up and through, grab your yarn again and go through the first two loops. So that's two, and we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over into that same second chain. Grab your yarn and pull up. Now we're going to go through the first two loops again. You should have four loops on your hook. And you're going to grab your yarn and go through all four loops. And there's your um, double crochet cluster of three for your little hand. Now we're going to do four sing or slip stitches down the chain. One, two, three, and four. And I'm only going to go that slow on um, this one. So if you don't quite have it yet, maybe go and practice this a couple of times before you continue on for the second arm. Now we're going to do 12 single crochets across. So this is where our last stitch was. We're going to go into the next stitch. Whoops. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Our second arm, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do our double crochet cluster of three in that second chain. So yarn over, in, pull through, go through two loops. That's one. Yarn over in that second chain. Grab your yarn, go through the first two loops. That's two and one more. Yarn over through that second chain, grab your yarn and go through the first two loops, and now grab your yarn and go through those four loops. And then we're just going to slip stitch down the rest of the arm. One, two, three. Four. And then starting in that next stitch, we're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you should be back at your stitch marker if you're using one. Row 12, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And when we go around this arm, this was our last stitch that we're just behind. So our next stitch over here, we want to go just behind there. Because remember, we didn't actually create a stitch when we did our arm. So we just want to be right behind, kind of under the arm in that next stitch. So you're going to push it down, go around it, and then make that seventh single crochet. And then keep on going. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, oops, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and that was behind our last stitch before we did the arm. So same thing. We're going to bend our arm down and go over behind the next stitch on the other side of the arm. Is that 18? I think we're at 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. And 24. And there we got our little arms and our little hat. And maybe we will deal with our little string now on the cap. So grab your darning needle. And you can do this any way you um, like. If you want to get rid of that little bump, you can go over around the top stitches a little bit. I'm just going to go down and up the next stitch. Pull it a little bit and then go around to the back stitch behind. And then I'm going to weave that in, in the back a little bit, and just poke it through right where the white and the yellow join. Don't pull um, so tight that you bring your rim in. And then I'm just gonna tie that to the tail of um, our attaching yarn. Remember light at first so you're not pulling the other side. Then a little bit tighter. As you go, and then you're going to bring that thread up and through your center loop where you started. I'm just going to hang, let that hang out for now. And we'll continue on. All right, for row 13, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Row 14, we are just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17 and 18. All right, now we're gonna do the row for the toes. So for row 15, we're gonna do five single crochets and then we're gonna do three toes, which is gonna be the double crochet clusters of three that you did for the hands. Then we're gonna do four single crochets and then another set of three toes and then finish off with, uh, is it three? Three single crochets, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna start with five single crochets one, two, three, four, five. Now the next three stitches, we're gonna do our double crochet clusters of three. So yarn over in, grab your yarn and go through the first two loops. Do that three times, so that's one, two, three, all in the same stitch, and then pull through. Do that again in the next stitch. Yarn over, in, pull through the first two. Yarn over, in, pull through the first two. Yarn over, whoopsie. In and pull through the first two. And then pull through all four loops. And one more time, yarn over, in, pull through the first two, yarn over, in, pull through the first two, and yarn over, in, pull through the first two. And then pull through all four. So there you've got your three toes. Now we're gonna do four single crochets. Make sure you get in the next stitch and you're not skipping any. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do our next set of three toes. So we'll do our first half double, what would you call that? Our first, mm, I don't know, one, two, Three. And pull through all four. Into the next stitch, we'll do another one. One. Oops. Two. And three. Then pull through all four. And one more in the next stitch. <clears throat> Oopsie. One, two, and three. Yeah, this last one was tricky for me. Here we go. Then we should have three single crochets left to finish off the row. One, two, and three. All right, now we're gonna attach the eyes. So what you wanna do is find the top of where you attached your arm. So this row right here. And I'm just gonna go in front of the arm to my first stitch and count over four. So that's one, two, three, four. And you should be just kind of on the inside of the toes here. So I'm gonna put my first eye there. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side. So find the top of where your arm attached and count over just in front, one, two, three, four. So right there, we're gonna put our second eye. And just kind of double check that they're kind of in the same spot, nice and even in the center, kind of just above on the inside of the, the inside toes there. If you're happy with what you have, we'll put the backs on. Come on. 
go. And then we'll add a little bit of stuffing now because we only have two rows left. And this is where you're going to kind of shape your um, mushroom cap. So like if it's really pointy and you don't want it pointy, just kind of push your stuffing out to the sides when you're in there. If it's um, a little rounder than you want, try and push it all up in the center instead of out to the sides. And I stuff mine pretty firmly so it holds that shape. I've actually never used so much stuffing as when I used these, started these plushy yarns. Like it's very, very solid up in there. When you're happy with the top, just start adding a little bit into, into the body or the stem. Um, we want to have this flat here, so you don't want to overstuff too much when you get up, up to this spot here. Unless you're making the keychain size and you want to have a little bit of a roundness there, but... All right, so I think that's good for now. I would double check what he looks like. He's mostly stuffed right now. I'm not gonna add too much more unless you need a little bit um, in the back side so he stands up. Uh, okay, for row 16. We're going to be going in the back loops and we're going to be doing one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So in the back loops, one single crochet, a decrease for two, three, a decrease for four. Make sure you're getting in under those toes in the back loops. Five, a decrease for six. Oopsie. That yarn is getting all, oh there, it's twisted in the, okay. And then a single crochet for seven. And a decrease for eight. Single crochet for nine. Decrease for ten. A single for eleven. And we should be on our last stitch a decrease for twelve. Doesn't matter a hundred percent if you're off a little bit because it's on the bottom. No one's going to see it or know but you. Okay, and row 17, six decreases. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, five decreases and six decreases. See, I missed a stitch somewhere. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna do one single crochet for a total of six and then slip stitch in that last stitch on the other side of your marker. 
and we'll tie this off. Um, decide if you need a little more stuffing. I'm going to add a little bit more just because I want to put a little bit out into this back so that when he's sitting like this, I mean, he's actually okay, but I don't want him to tip back because his toes stick out a little bit. I'm just going to push that back and kind of spread it out so it's not quite so small on the bottom. All right, grab your darning needle. So I'm going to get rid of this now. And we're just going to close up the bottom. So there's a little tip that I figured out is when you're closing up the bottom with the plush yarn, if you do about halfway, so I have three stitches here. Now I'm gonna leave this little piece of string and then I'm gonna do the last three or two, whatever you end up doing. I'm gonna do two. Now you don't have to pull through all six or five of the stitches Pull through the first three, and then with that loop you left, you can easily grab and pull through the last bit of stitches. If especially, like six isn't bad, but if you were doing, if you had 12 stitches here, that would really help you out so it's not, you don't break your yarn. Okay, we're just gonna tie a little knot here now. And then we're gonna go through the center and then just out the back somewhere. Unless you also wanna add this to your hanger, you can go right back out the top. I originally was doing that, but then I thought I wanted to keep the same color as the top. So it maybe doesn't stand out as much if it's like hanging like this. And then just give that a cut. Push that end in if you need to. And now we will give him a little face. So grab a little scrap of black yarn or whatever yarn you're using. And we're gonna make him two, I don't know if they wanna be eyebrows or what they are, but they're gonna go here and then his mouth down here. But I'm gonna start here, right in the center between his eyes, and that's where I'm gonna tie um, the strings once I'm done. So you wanna go just on the inside of his eye for your first eyebrow or whatever it is. Leave a little bit of a string for tying and pulling through. And then I'm gonna go right in the center on this side of the eye where we would have put our um, post for the eye in. Flip them over and then decide where you want your mouth. And I'm putting it just at the bottom in the middle of the eye on both sides. If you want a longer mouth, go to the outsides. And I'm going one row down. Now, if you wanted to make the V mouth, so he has a little smile, you want to go right here across so that you can pull that down after. So go in the matching stitch for the eye on this side. So I'm just almost kind of in the middle, a little to the inside. 
Now we're going to come out where we where our arm row started, where we put our eye in, right alongside. Oh, my hook's twisted the wrong way. So right there. And then we are going to come over and we're going to match this stitch on this side. So just on the inside of the eye. And then we're going to come up where we started. So now we'll give that a tie. I do mine three times, nice and loose at first, so we're not pulling our embroidery. Whoopsie. And then kind of slowly tighten up. One more time, and this one will be tighter. And then we're going to thread that end. Ooh, that went in like butter this time. Hope I have the right side here. I do. And then you're just going to put that down in that same stitch and come somewhere out the back or wherever you want to or can reach. Don't pull that too tight because you don't want to tighten your... See, I, I gave mine a little bit of a tug. You don't want to bring your face in too much. And then you'll just slide that knot down out of sight. Pull in your stitches if you need to. Give that a little cut. Hide that up. And now if you want to give them cheeks, we'll do that next. So we're going to do this basically the same way we did the eyebrows and mouth. Decide where you want your cheeks. And I want mine right here and right here. Just down below the eye in these two stitches. So I'm going to start in the middle again. And I'm going to go all the way to the outside of the eye. Um, so I want my cheek right here and here. So I'm going to go to the back stitch of where I want that cheek. Leave enough to tie here. And then I'm going to do the front side of the cheek. So I'm kind of doing it a little bit backwards, but this time it'll make a little more sense. So this time I'm going to go under the eye, or just on the inside of the eye, sorry, to match this stitch. And I like to leave my cheek a little on the looser side. Now you're going to go back one stitch and then come out where you started. And you can go around a couple of times if you feel like you want to. I'm actually gonna pull these so I have a little more tying thread. There we go. Then you're gonna tie that and put it through the back. sure why but every video I've done in the past couple weeks I'm threading my needle left-handed okay so down in that same stitch and then out the back and again don't pull that too tight because you don't want your cheeks to to slide into the other, whoops, other stitches there. There we go. I can't decide which end I need. This one maybe, there we go. And then we will do the next part. All right. 
right. Now you're going to grab your um, little chunk of white or whatever color you're using to make the spots. Whoopsie. That's going to be a problem later, but... And I want to have my spots on the second row up and about the third row down. So I'm going to follow that second row because when you go in the round, it's going to kind of tip down and it's going to look like I'm in the first row when I start. So I want my first stitch to be about the middle right here, following that line from around. Of course, you can put yours anywhere you want. But I find I usually do too much, so this way I seem to be able to do about the right amount. So you're going to start up somewhere where you're not going to have a stitch, and this is going to be your beginning spot, and this is going to be where you tie off at the end. So you're just going to go up on top of that row. You're going to go over about four stitches, or just a little ways behind the arm. Come out. And don't pull too tight because you want these to be a little bit of a bump. So nice and slowly, just like that. And you can go to the top of the round over about four more stitches. So you're between the arm and the eye. And you're in that second row. On the bottom of the row, I guess I should say. Pull that stitch. Then you're going to go up on top of the row, and you're going to come somewhere in between the eyes on the bottom of that second row. Or do this however you prefer, obviously. Go around that stitch, and we're going to go over about four stitches again, so we're between the eye and the arm. Pull that gently, go above, and then now we're going to go about four stitches again, just behind the arm, kind of matching what we did on the other side. I should be using a colored needle. I see you can't see my needle that great. And we're going to go up on the top of the row, and now we're going to start the ones going on the top. So I'm going to look on the front again and find what row I want. So I'm one, two, three rows, and I'm going to start my stitches on the bottom of that row. And I want to go kind of in between that stitch and that stitch. And we're just going to go in between all the way around. So I want to come up about right there. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be up and down. It can be longer, it can be shorter. So I'm just going to go up top of that row. And now I'm going to come over between these two stitches. And I'm going to go up. Now I want to come out over here between these two. Remember not to pull those stitches too tight and try and keep them all the same. And now we're going to come over here between these two stitches. Down and over, and we're going to come up here somewhere between these two stitches. So we got one more to go right here. So go up 
And then we want to come down here somewhere between the last two stitches. Make your little spot and then come down where you started. And then you're just going to tie that a couple of times. Not too tight again. Oh, I should have left more. Oh well, it'll work. Now remember, you don't want to pull your spots. And then you're just going to go in that same stitch and then bring those two ends out. And out the back somewhere. Uh, are my pliers up here? No. Just be careful you're not pulling your stitches too much. You want that knot to disappear. And you may just have to fix your first and your last stitch. My first one's okay. Whoops. And that's what you gotta be careful of. And you're gonna cut those. We'll make a little loop up here. So I'm just folding it in half. Talking about how long I want it. Do it about the width of my hand. Tie it nice and close to the top. And then we'll thread that end down and in. Oops, wrong. And then I'm taking it out down here. You can take it out wherever you want. And I like to pull the knot through the hole if you can. And there we go. We've got all the colors of the rainbow going on here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I post a new video. Hitting the share button or giving it a thumbs up or leaving me a comment is always also appreciated. And as always, I'm going to leave a couple little um, videos that I think you might be interested in up on the screen. And you guys take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.